Okay, so this channel has always been first and foremost educational. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through and teach it as a class and show you what makes this particular piece of property ideal for great production. All right, well, let's get started. Let's go back to that first original question, which is why are vineyards, our Texas Hill Country vineyards, so rare and so expensive? Well, to answer that, you really need to answer the underlying question, which is, well, what does it take to grow a grape? Well, first and foremost, we need to understand the value of time. It takes a minimum of three years from the time that you've planted to the time that you're gonna get your first grapes. Three years. And you can expect up to five years before you can get a full yield out of your crop. So I don't know how many people have five years to wait for a particular crop to kind of come in and start producing income off of your initial investment. Second most important thing is sunshine. San Saba County has over 200 or averages approximately 235 days of sunshine a year. Number three is water. You know, grapes are just these water-filled sacks of sugar, basically. And so you have to have a tremendous amount of water during that growing season, but you have to kind of throttle it back or not have too much water during the non-growing season. So this piece of property has not one, but two pump systems and two 5,000 gallon water storage tanks. They provide both redundancy as well as the ability to uh, maintain adequate moisture during the growing season. Number four is the soil. Grapes require a sandy, rocky kind of soil. Uh, the, the kind of soil that allows moisture to seep through slowly, but not collect on the roots. There's a problem uh, in vines and vine production, it's called the uh, root fungus. And in loamy clay soils that, that, you know, that black dirt soils that generally uh, retain a lot of water, well, that doesn't work very well for grape uh, production, this particular property you can see that it's got uh, a very sandy, rocky, fertile soil. You know, the soil and the soil composition is why there's so many uh, of the Texas vineyards that are concentrated in places like the Hill Country and the High Texas Plains in and around Lubbock because the soil and the sunshine and the water is ideal. So once you do all this, once you have all this perfect environment to grow the grapes, well, one of the next most important things is you have to protect it. You have to protect it from consumption. You know, those soft little leaves and those sweet, wonderful uh, sacks of, of sugary water. Well, deer and other, and goats and other animals just love to eat it up. Normally, game fencing is used by landowners to keep game within a, uh, within a particular piece of property so that they can manage and grow uh, their their deer population or animal population. Well, in this case, this land is protected by double high fencing, game fencing, all the way around to protect those vital, vital grapes. And you know, high fencing or protection really kind of leads me into the, the last point, which is growing grapes or growing vines to grow grapes requires a tremendous amount of equipment, specialized equipment. Everything from the H braces, T braces, cables, to provide the structure for the vines to grow on, to uh, specialized irrigation equipment, to specialized pest control and uh, fertilization equipment. And this piece of property has already got it there and an enough to manage and to maintain the vines that are there, plus expand and grow. Now, let's talk about the rest of the property or the property in general. There's a total of 30.47 acres of which Per the seller, there's about seven, seven plus that are that's already dedicated and carved out for uh, vine production. Now, those grapes uh, that are planted and producing uh, go into the production of both white and red wines. This piece of property has a 5,000 square foot uh, pad that's newly been put in that offers a tremendous amount of opportunity for residential uses, commercial uses, 
you know, if it were me, if I, if I had the money and was able to do it, I would love to put in a little wine tasting area, a little gift shop, a little spot, because it's right there on Highway 190. Now, this property is absolutely free of what you'd normally see out in the Texas Hill Country, which is mesquite trees, cedar trees, and other non-native um, pest vegetation and, um, and trees, cactus and the such. Now, why is that so important? Well, if you really do a deep dive in, mesquite trees and cedars particularly absorb and consume so much of your water and your groundwater. They're like uh, sponges and they really take away the moisture that you want to have for both the grapes and whatever other type of, um, of vegetation growth that you want on the rest of the acreage. Now let's talk about that. So the other acres that are there historically have been used for and planted in row crops or hay production. So there, the other acreage, you can still have good income producing uh, type of grass or vegetation. The current market price for unimproved acreage between 20 and 40 acres in San Saba County is currently 18 to 20,000 an acre. This is being listed, this is being presented at 20,000 an acre, which is an absolute steal if you want to have and own your own hill country vineyard that's already up and functioning. So if you're interested, if you want to move forward, be sure you're going to have to give me a call, shoot me a text, mes text message, send me an email. <laughs> on this one, I would not rely on trying to send me a note via Pony Express. I'd love to see this property go to one of you guys. So y'all go ahead and just give me a call, shoot me a text message, send me an email. Y'all have a great day. Until next time.